Hi, it's Tessa and I'm here today with a faux dory um, flip through kind of thing. First I want to show you the first one I bought. This is from Amazon. This was I think around $15. It's a personal size faux dory. It's just a little, it's not leather. I put this strap on it because it came with something that wrapped around it and it was very annoying. And I started using this one but I quickly found out that it was just a little too small for me in what I wanted to do. Like I made a little, you know, thing to use and made these little envelopes from a video I seen by I think Robin Lott or somebody. Um, so I had a few things in here, but it just it just wasn't my speed. Um, I actually was doing started the Listers Got a List challenge from Corey the Reset Girl. And this is my Lister's Got a List book. However, I'll just flip through it really quick. Um, I took the booklet out because it was just too small. Uh, this is a really fun challenge. I really love doing it. I can't. I hope she continues it going forward because I really, really enjoyed working on it. So I just made this actually myself, um, just out of regular computer paper and scrapbook paper and just sewed it. Then I made two faux dories. One was out of material, which is this one. And I have not used this. There's just extra booklets in here. Oops. Crap. Hold on a second. My setup isn't that great, but it'll have to do. Okay. Now, <laughs> this is just a regular um, fabric one that I made. And it just has empty booklets in here that I made and a folder from Pocket Full of Vintage. So there's that. And I got the material from Walmart. Then this is my faux dory. This is the one that I'm have moved into and fallen in love with. The fabric is from Michaels. It's just a blue leather. I think I got it with the 40% off for like, I don't know six bucks and I put the strap on in this little charm and it's just two-sided whoops I sewed it double sewn and I used the fabric again that I got from Walmart for the inside and in between is heat and bond and fusible web this first insert is the one that everybody uses it seems like in their faux dory. this is the 008 travelers notebook um, Refill clear zipper pouch. I got it on Amazon. It was like $8. So inside I just put a piece of scrapbook paper and a journal card that says enjoy every moment. And then on the other side it says stop and smell the roses. These inserts I made, they are just black scrapbook paper with printed scrapbook paper on top, washi on. Um, that was from Corey the Reset Girl also. Love this paper as, as you know. I like glasses and I'm kind of a nerd, so in love with this paper. Um, and this is my first booklet. I think I have five booklets in here. So this is the first one. This was just a printable that I found on, I think, Pinterest. And then I tipped in this little journaling card that says, This is my life. And I have here some orders that I have waiting to come in with a little happy mail. Can you see that? Let me tilt it up. I ordered the Jacqueline Hill palette. It's on back order. I ordered gold and silver Sharpies and Distress Stain, so I haven't got those yet. Um, I wasn't quite sure what to do with this and how I wanted to go about journaling my life, so <laughs> I just stuck these on here because I thought they were fun. And then the first thing I put in here was the other day when my friend and I went to see Fifty Shades. This was way back on March 15th. I stuck some... Um, just what I thought of the movie and a couple of little sayings from it. This is funny. I found this on Pinterest. It says, Fifty Shades of Grey is only romantic because he's a billionaire. If he lived in a trailer park, it would be an episode of Criminal Minds. I just thought that was hilarious. So I made these inserts. They're just colored paper with dots on them. My husband was nice enough to put the dots in a program for me. So that's the first insert. And then I have these clear plastic pouches. I just put this paper in here because I'm so in love with it. And I am also in love with these mason jar chalkboard journaling cards that I got. 
I don't remember where, but they were so cute. Um, and then I have another pouch here that this is off of Ray Blake's website. My Life All in One Place. You just print it out and laminate it and then you can stick it behind a page so you have lines to write on when you have blank paper. And that, these are all from this Snap Studio Pack. They're just clear plastic journal pages. This is the Variety Pack. So there's just different ones in here and I just cut them and washed them in. So I'll show you what that looks like. I just washed them onto a piece of cardstock, which I've seen somebody do on YouTube, and I thought, wow, that's a great idea. So I just slid it in behind a booklet like that. And then the second booklet, I have just this little journaling card tipped in, and that I need to order solar fence post caps. These are books I want to read, and I have favorite Etsy stores. And then I also made another one of these with the half, the half pages. I'm going to just put my favorite journaling cards in here just to decorate it. And I have an extra one. So that's the next booklet. And then this is the other side of that zipper pouch. And all I have in here is just some random things. I have, um, let's see if I can get it all out, some journaling cards. Um, I have these masking sticker things that you get from like Amazon and the tin. Some more journaling cards. Some more of that masking sticker stuff. Um, some labels. And then these are from the Dollar Tree. They're just label stickers. So I thought those were all nice. So I just stuck them all in here to use at a later date. Then this is the next book I made. Um, this is some washi, a journaling card, and this is tipped in. This is a weekly planner. I don't remember where I got this printed off of, but I believe it was free. And these are from a printable from Yellow Paper House on Etsy. And this is just a piece of paper with Monday through Sunday on it. So here's my planner pages. Um, it just says Monday through Sunday. These are for water. Um, I put this on there to remember to work out. And here's a blank one. So I have a few of those in there. And so that's a booklet. And then this is a six pocket folder from Pocket Full of Vintage. It has this sleeve, which I just have all kinds of stickers in here. It has a slide pocket in the back. I can open it up. It's so full. Okay, so right here's a slide pocket. This pocket. When you flip it over, here's another pocket. Um, this is my pen from Willow Fields. Isn't it gorgeous? It's a gem pen. So, so pretty. I love it. And I just have it hooked onto a binder clip like that. And then before I found those printables for the calendar, I printed this out. Or, no, I didn't print it out. I used graph paper and just made it with washi. This was April, and this was May. There's that. I got these little paper clips from Hobby Lobby. And then I made this little paper clip. It just is a paper clip with some yarn on it. So I made that. Stick that back on there just to decorate it. Um, I just put some summer trip ideas in here, and this is the other side of that six pocket thing. I just put some paper in there. And the last booklet is just small graph paper. I'm not sure what I'm going to use it for, but that's the back. So that is my Midori flip through. I've only been using it about a week, so I'm just getting settled into it. I also wanted to show you, here's what the... Um, you can buy these on Yellow Paper House on Etsy, which is perfectly fine. I was just feeling ambitious and I made them myself because that's just what I usually like to do. And then these are from Robin Lott on YouTube. They are also little folders that you can make out of scrapbook paper to put in your Midori. Um, I had them in, took them out, had them in, took them out, but I just keep them in my drawer. There's two different types. So if you go onto her 
YouTube. I'll see if I can find the link for those so you can make them too. And, and I think that's everything. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.